the top 10 scariest reds. Oh my goodness, that is scary. 144p? <laughs> that is terrifying. Theme park, crazy. We should go to a theme park. This channel, you'll know that I talk about roller coasters on a regular go for some basis, theme park food. but there are just so many <coughs> other types of rides that are just as scary or even <coughs> scarier. For this video, we're going to be taking fuck? a look at some of the scariest non-coaster rides out there. The term scary the is pretty vague, though. This so is not this what I was suspecting at all. What <laughs> the, the fuck? Heights. So as voted on by the fans, here are the it's like top a slingshot. 10 rides most likely to give you Giant cannon swing. Number 10, Edge Coaster at the Philippine Sky Experience Adventure. Let's start off this list with a trip to Cebu City what? in the Philippines. This city is known for its historic religion. Wait, is it just a seat that hangs off the edge? There's no fucking way. Who's paying to get on this? To Cebu City in the Philippines. No this way. This city is known for its historic religious buildings yeah, and that's beautiful nice, vistas. Ooh, but within the city, there's truly. an extra special treat for thrill seekers downtown. Located atop the Crown Regency Hotel is an amusement park named Ooh. Sky Experience Adventure. This park features a rock Ooh. climbing wall, a glass skywalk, and a truly terrifying ride named Edge Coaster. Despite its name, this ride is <laughs> that's terrifying. I don't like that part, but the rest of it's cool. How am I cool with like rock climbing on the side of a building and walking on like glass with a, a tiny rope over this I was like, look, look, look at this it's terrifying terror it instills in riders he's not even looking off the edge <laughs> i wouldn't either oh no he is fooled by its speed this slow moving powered ride will do more than enough to rattle your fear of heights Passengers start yeah, by boarding for sure. a person ride vehicle. They then navigate around the edge of the And you gotta see all the people on the road. Towards the Look at them. <laughs> They're devastated. Enough, Who the put them on? Tilt downwards. The force of gravity pushes them towards the edge of their seats. None of these people look like no they want to be on. Like Who put them on? Who gave them money? <laughs> Yo. Any moment, but the masterful magic My bad. Here's the joy of time. Place. This one-of-a-kind attraction is a masterpiece of fear extraction. And if you think you're brave enough, feel free to book a ticket to Cebu City and give it a shot. Number nine. I'm down for the, the ticket, but I don't... At California's <laughs> OUE Sky Space What a strange LA. photo. What a strange looking photo. Yeah, like, I've seen the slide before, but why did that that photo look sus as fuck? What? Oh my god. LA. While this is I guess it's because it's a photo and the angle. Yeah, never mind. No <laughs> we're good. It is. I'd go on this for Los sure, Angeles, easily. This iconic easily. US tower. This slide is part of an entertainment venue named the O. Wait, how's this number Sky nine? And the other one was ten. This <laughs> Wait a second. Bar, <laughs> observation deck, and of course, its signature glass slide. This rectangular slide is composed almost entirely of clear glass panels. Passengers board simple fabric mats and make. Oh yeah! Oh uh, yeah! <laughs> Give me in there. Seconds long. The fear this slide invokes proves that big scares can indeed come in yeah, that's, small packages. That's not. So, that's like five seconds. Look down, undoubtedly. Look that. I'm. Here, as the glass slide gives. Why am I not scared? It's because it's enclosed. It's like I know it could break and it, like it's high up and everyone. You know, there's a good reason to be spooked here, but compared to the other one. I'm feeling a little safer, personally. View of the city below the sturdy but fragile I'll still be shaking a little bit to get on. <laughs> don't, don't, I'm not going to go on like a jigga chat like this man. <laughs> but I'll go on a little safer, a little more uh, calmer, But if for you're sure. afraid of heights, this slide could very well be your worst nightmare. Number eight, Damn, that boy cloud can fly scraper now. zip line at Colorado's Royal Gorge Park. Next up, we have the first of three Colorado rides on this list. There are countless. Yo, I love Colorado. Was, Perhaps more than was, one can possibly. We're not going back. If you're looking for <laughs> it's the like most half the list. Zip line of all, one can easily make the case half for of what's the cloud left. scraper. Just like the bridge, the cloud Ooh, scraper takes guests over 900 feet above the Arkansas River. The view down below is like something straight out of a wily e. coyote car. <laughs> vista is truly breathtaking. Guests will see a great place their way for their across tune. the giant chasm. With only a harness standing between you and a deadly drop downwards, this is not recommended for the acrophobics out there. If you're a hard I mean, thrill seeker, it looks though, so cool, but Colorado also just like fuck Number that, seven, man. <laughs> ride, made by Dutch manufacturer KMG. What you is... may remember this ride from my 20 insane and unique carnival ride. Rides video. This monstrous uh, ride stands at a one. staggering 213 this? feet tall, oh, this is the one that's the other. meters in metric terms. This makes it the tallest portable hey, yo, when you're coming down. existence. 
Riders sit at the bottom of a massive arm and are hoisted into the air while rotating sideways. As you can imagine, the positive g-force achieved at the I'm bottom of the I'm staying on the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a corn dog. So much so that German regulations prohibit the ride from making more than one complete rotation. <laughs> As it should. <laughs> As it should. <laughs> Thank you, German regulations. Flat out Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, that's my type of rides. Those right there. The trippy ones. I Just like those. one rotation is more than enough to be memorable. Number six, and the giant one. canyon swing at Colorado's Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. Jesus. And an elevation what? of over 7,000 feet even crazier than the last level, thing in Glenwood Colorado. Caverns Adventure Park has no shortage of thrilling attractions. A dreamlike drop ride into a deep cavern and a world famous swing ride over a canyon. Made by American manufacturer SNS Sansei, this model is known as a Scream and Swing ride. Though common That is terrifyingly parts, cool. I mean, it's like a, it's like the lake house swing but on roids <laughs> massively and there's no lake to catch you <laughs> <laughs> just a whole mountain range oh my spot. goodness while sitting away from the edge ironically gives a more terrifying view right but it looks straight down in this case i don't know considerable amount of no, space that, the seats no the i don't even think i'd get close to this one i wouldn't even find the location the facing away from the edge of the cliff but regardless this ride is both exciting and fear inducing no matter what seat you're in terrifying it's a must have addition for any thrill seekers bucket colorado you're scaring five, me man i enjoyed my time over there but now i'm spooked orlando Towers. Wait, In case you haven't heard of these rides, SCAD Towers are full-fledged stunt eh. experiences. <laughs> this isn't a ride! <laughs> this is a stunt! Hold on a second. Air device. From personal experience, I can say the SCAD you're just, Towers by like you're far filming a scene at this point. <laughs> But I have the few you know, this look, there, I do this easily. Truly stands out. I've always wanted to do like a stunt. The Hell yeah. Towers I wouldn't Genesis consider it a ride, but it definitely will be scary. What? Former coal plant cooling tower. Guests start off boarding a metal platform and being lifted in cool? into the air. As the platform goes Strange up, location. so does a large net. After reaching the top, guests are hooked up to a cord and lowered below the platform. With the use of a release mechanism, a park employee releases the cable, sending guests plummeting downward with no cords. After what feels like terminal velocity, guests I want to do net, it. Which I'm actually designed to cushion this, the, the, this is the one I'm most comfortable with, strangely enough. 131 feet into I mean, look, it's just a big ass trampoline. Imagine, the drop down oh, but you don't much bounce up. Than it actually is. Oh, that's the fact boring. that it's inside <laughs> the cooling tower makes it that much more surreal. A fall like uh, this is not for the faint of heart. If you think you can handle it, the Orlando Man, your Towers heart would just drop the whole way down, though. I felt my heart drop slightly Number there. Four, Zoom in Jaro Drop of Doom at New Jersey Six Flags Great Adventure. In 2005, what the fuck? Six Flags stunned yeah, let's the go to Six Flags. industry by opening Kingdom Rock at an impressive <laughs> feet tall. This sentiment accelerator <laughs> broke the record for the tallest roller coaster on Earth. A record it still carries to this day. As if it wasn't already jaw-dropping enough, the coaster's manufacturer managed to take it to the next Is he sitting by himself? That poor man. I don't think Magic he was. <laughs> Superman Escape from Krypton, Swiss manufacturer Intamin would install another three of these drop towers on King Ka's structure. Why? The result is <laughs> Jaro Drop of Doom. That sounds, that sounds like a terrible experience. idea. Each one stands in an incredible 415 feet in the air. After boarding, guests are swiftly taken to the top. Just when you think you're about to hit max height, it keeps going and going and going until you eventually reach the peak. Upon reaching the highest point, riders will be so stopped. So what's longer, the getting all the way up to the top or the line? I, I, I've always... Uh... I've noticed these these rides take longer than I actually Possibly realized. Allowing for a few seconds to rethink their life decisions. Before you know it, you'll be like on the ground. It seems so bottom, much faster than going up. Of course. As you descend, as it picks up speed, you may feel like you're going Ooh. to crash into the ground. But before you know it, the brakes will a kick classic, in. A classic, classic debate. A chair with a look on your face that has holy sh written all over it. Number three, <laughs> Terror Dactyl at Colorado's Cave of the Woods. Oh my Mountain goodness. Park. Everyone Colorado, y'all gonna chill with your like your mountain ranges and shit. Like y'all are just playing with this. In the town of Manitou Springs. This park offers Ooh, I've heard of this place. titular cave, as well as a zip line and even a cliffside ropes course. But by Yo, far, that's cool. its most thrilling attraction is the recently the added pterodactyl. pterodactyl. I like the name. I like the gimmick. It's really, really good. Short of psychotic. After boarding but the fuck? The ride, in, though. The seat will slowly 
face downwards, bringing you face to face with Who the is eating on that? Well, All they are. Sudden, <laughs> Those two right there. 200 feet down at around 100 Jesus. miles per hour. This free fall sensation gives the illusion. Oh, I was about to say, do we have a front cam to see their faces <laughs> and how they're feeling? And, but we do. The fun doesn't stop. There, they're actually though, looking quite tame. Back and forth over the deep chasm with the wind in your face and your sense. Then again, you gotta be pretty crazy to get on this shit, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow still insist on riding this so you're always gonna have a pretty a clean pair of underpants true because things may end up messier than the second season so the reactions are gonna be pretty hyped number two these are adrenaline Falcon's junkies period, right florida's bush gardens tampa one thing's for sure with this ride. I feel like half of them are adrenaline junkies and half of them are people who like got sucked into it. <laughs> it ain't your grandmother's drop tower. It's like, come on, it won't be that bad. When I get into a debate on what the best drop tower on earth is, this ride comes up on more than one occasion. Also <laughs> built by Intamin, this prototype model is officially known as a sky jump. Passengers board around the structure and are then lifted 300. It's like the other one, but even air, bigger and crazier. Drop towers would simply plunge more people. passengers from the top. Bigger but is better. Else happens that takes <laughs> oh, Oh, yeah. Falcon's fear factor from a 10 to an 11. Upon reaching the peak, passengers are slowly tilted backwards into a face down position with only the restraints to keep them from falling to the ground. What the fuck? After what feels like ages of anticipation, the clutch is released and passengers plunge downwards I'm good. back to earth. <laughs> I'm just skipping out on this before one. Reaching the bottom, Holy shit. The seats swing back into a sit down position, leaving guests a to true like free what fall. They just rode. It may not be the tallest drop tower on Earth, but many agree that it's look at the way that comes in. Even scarier than that's fucking Jaro. terrifying. And for those of you in Europe, you can get a taste of this ride at Sweden's Gronalund. Oh Here fuck you can that! Find a small, <laughs> fuck that! Jump named Icaros. Hopefully, we'll get to see more sky jumps pop up. Oh wait, it, these things it wasn't that. What is this? These things scare me. Where everybody's like flying or yeah, how the fuck are you cool just chilling up there? For those of you in Europe. You can get a taste of this ride at Sweden's Gronalund. Here you can find a smaller but still amazing sky jump named Icaros. Oh yeah, Hopefully still amazing. <laughs> Truly, looks amazing up. to me. Because these things are, in the words of this generation, totally lit. At long last, totally lit. One, <laughs> this was two days ago or two years ago. <laughs> Look at the past. Nevada Stratosphere, <laughs> totally lit. World famous among thrill seekers, the Stratosphere Hotel and Casino features Is an amazing park on, the on left? top of the building at around a thousand feet in the air. Is Over that a crane? Years, like a claw machine? A variety of attractions to take full advantage of its mind-blowing height. Among those still operating are the following. First, there's Big Shot, an SNS space shot ride that launches riders over a thousand feet into the sky. On its own, it's far from the tallest drop tower, but the view from the top is perhaps the scariest of all time. Next is Insanity, that big, but it is a up flat up. ride that what spins riders above that? the biggest strip as they face the ground. This <laughs> there's only two of them on there. <laughs> That's a regular day for them. YouTube thumbnails than you can shake a stick at. Riders will rotate that thing around is the fucking insane. Well, for good reason. <laughs> likely spouting out various four-letter <laughs> Those things are process. that is insane Perhaps to look at. even scarier than <laughs> this ride is X Scream, an astounding you what? horrifying ride that sends a train full of passengers. Yo, off the edge of the what building. the fuck? What if one day it just like gets slippery, you know? <laughs> like, is that a possibility? <laughs> like, the boarding what if it just it doesn't like catch itself on a stop on time? But rest what assured, the fuck? This one is real, and you'd be hard to slip on a banana peel. Scarier looking than this. It looks as if there's nothing to stop it from plummeting to the ground. But Truly. like I said before, the magic of engineering is in full effect. Fucking Finally, engineers, man. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Bungee jump esque ride experience. I are doing it. Drops <laughs> riders hundreds of feet to the Should ground. Jump off on a, a building. Controlled high speed wire. Notable enthusiast Taylor Bybee of Coaster Studios had this to say about it. Holy crap! And that pretty much sums up the stratosphere. It's further proof that Vegas is much more than slot machines and ending up on the roof after your bachelor party. It's chock full of is it though? experience. They just jumped off the roof. Secret, <laughs> the stratosphere is a must do. Before we wrap things up, I oh, just want to give a special shout Wait, was the stratosphere the first features. one? Or the Stratosphere rides. The See, that's just like that reminds me of the stunt the jump that we saw. Ending up on the roof after your bachelor yeah, party. would be pretty cool with that. It's just jumping off, it'd be fucking even more terrifying. There's nothing to catch you. Seeker, besides this wire, but I'm down. Do. I'm down. Before I'm down. we wrap things up, I just want to give. A that was a good video. I got spooked. I got spooked. I got spooked. <laughs> that was crazy.